Living in America as a black person, you recognize there is one set of laws for you and one set of laws for those, especially in the white community. In our book, Passive Aggressive Racism in the System of White Supremacy, I take you through times in my life when I first started noticing white supremacy. We teach you how to recognize it, identify it, and also counter it in our book. This book is a beginner's course for those that are just starting to wake up and open their eyes to see the system of white supremacy. As a black American person, you must understand this system because this system is life or death to you. How you handle it, how you deal with it, it can affect your mental health if you don't understand this system. Pick up our book, Pass Aggressive Racism and the System of White Supremacy, today on Amazon. Hello fam, welcome back to the African Diaspora News Channel. I am Ungil Zalalem bringing you this report. Today's report is about South Africa calling out Ukraine for being undiplomatic. And this comes after the ambassador of Ukraine started tweeting and blasting the South African government. And she was actually saying things that were not accurate. Let me show you this clip. We'll come back and discuss. So it is creating a sense of pressure. And I think in the process, then mistakes are being made. I think it is a mistake for any ambassador to communicate to a country that is hosting it and communicating it in a tone that she communicated in and communicated via social media. Because what it might be seen as, it might be seen as an unhanded way to pressure South Africa to simply support uh, uh, Ukraine and instead of supporting a peaceful resolution of the conflict. Mm -hmm. and it might also be seen as an attempt uh, to drive a wedge between uh, South Africa and South African government and its population and perhaps in general a color revolution in South Africa. And I'd like to just latch on... It is what is said about it. As you heard, like, the entitlement is what is really annoying. Like, you want to feel bad for the people that are going through some hardship, but then they don't make it easy on you because of the way they move, because they believe that, you know, we owe them um, all the respect, all the support that they are going to need when, in fact, on the ground, they are mistreating our own. Africans are being mistreated. Africans are getting discriminated against. Africans are facing racial abuse, and they want us to just you know, fly and rescue them and be on their side. So all this started because she wanted to have a meeting with the president, Cyril Ramaphosa. And, you know, as an ambassador, you just don't get to meet and sit down with the president. First, you meet other officials, like people, your own level, like that's not her pay grade. Like she's an ambassador, he's a president. So she has been meeting people that are, um, on her level that can help her that are in charge of what she wants to talk about but apparently that's not good enough what she wants to do is talk to Cyril and that's what she needs to do if she doesn't get her way she's going to go and tweet and insinuate that um, the South African government is being biased or they're not being cooperative like that's the tone she took and that is why the South African government is calling out Ukraine for being undiplomatic this is just insane how do you go to someone's house this is how the, the uh, actually the minister explained it how do you go to someone's house as an ambassador she is in somebody's house which is south africa how can you go to someone's house and demand to speak to the owner like there are some things that you need to do there is a protocol there is a way that you speak to the people and you approach um people in that house so that's not what she did entitlement I think so. Let us know down below what your thoughts are. Why do you think they're acting undiplomatic and also um, making it seem like everyone in the world should prioritize them over our own issues? Let us know. I am Ungil Zalalem. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.